This is day seven of our short cell rehab project. Today we passed the electrical inspection, we passed the plumbing inspection, and now we are just doing uh, general contractor work. Um, he is about finished putting the insulation up. He still has a little bit to do, but today was we primarily focused on you know, wrapping up the plumbing and the electrical, there's a few things that had to be done in, a, in order for it to pass inspection. We were lucky that they came out today. So we passed those hurdles. Um, I was actually kind of worried about that because anytime you have electrical inspection, it's, it's nerve wracking. Um, we, in our apartment building, we had to put thousands of dollars and to bring things up to code because of that, because of an electrical inspection, because we were remodeling an apartment and we didn't realize that when you remodel an apartment, you have to bring everything up to code, which we ended up having to bring the entire building up to code, which is a tenant building, so it was a big mess and a lot of money. So anyway, I was nervous about that, and we passed, and we've uh, gotten over those hurdles, and now we're just ready for general contracting. Um, I was also concerned about um, having a framing or structural inspection, but she said since we did not do the original uh, framing that was done when we purchased the the property that we would not have to do that. Um, so the framing was already done when it was purchased, so that is not necessary. So and they don't have to expect the general contracting work, which I was kind of I didn't realize that in Huntington. Um, so and also um, I've discovered the insulation is very expensive. We have about $3,000, a little over $3,000 insulation. We have $5,000 in um, uh, electrical, or yeah, $5,200 in electrical work and a little over $6,000 in plumbing work. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's been very expensive. Our budget is $25,000 and we're going to spend $5,000 on siding the house. And again, this is a duplex. So we expect to um, recover uh, $1,100 a month out of this and have an appraisal of $85,000 with a total of a $50,000 investment, which we will use um, the appraisal to go get a line of credit on the house, basically get a HELOC, and <coughs> start the process over again. So we should have, when we're done, $30,000 in equity and we'll at least get our money back to start another project to build the net worth, to build our net worth. Um, that's the, the insulation that's going to be put underneath the house. And we ended up making this a hallway. It was one big bedroom, but we ended up splitting it up into a hallway so we can go out back. And... We're going to rent this for I think seven fifty eight hundred dollars a month. I think our property manager said that that she would put it up for eight hundred. Um, she knows the market. This is a, this duplex is in a good area. We went the upstairs for three fifty. It's close to um, a major medical center in our region, so it's a it's a pretty desirable area. And again, this uh, duplex was a short sell, and I believe it was purchased for $10,000, I believe. So after a total of $40,000, um, after all said and done, like I said, we'll have 50 in it, and we'll have $1,100 a month coming in with an $85,000 appraisal. That's what we're shooting for. And then we'll HELOC this place and start the project over.